Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the all-new ESV Church History Study Bible from Crossway. Okay, I know a lot of people have been anxiously awaiting the release of the ESV Church History Study Bible from Crossway. I had a lot of people late last year emailing me, messaging me on social media, even commenting here on YouTube saying, hey, do you know when this Bible's coming out? Have you gotten a copy of it? I can't wait to see it. So I finally got a copy. I actually got this before I left for Israel, but then I had to go on that trip. So I was I was actually really excited to come home in, in part to see Becca, of course, because I really missed her. I was gone for 10 days, but also because I wanted to open this Bible and check it out. So I'm gonna do an unboxing video and a review all in one video. Are you ready for this? I got my B cam right here. What's up? I remember, I think that, I think that Tim Nichols was, I forgot to bring tape, or tape, I forgot to bring um, scissors. Oh, here, I'll do this. I think that Tim Nichols was the first person to tell me about this Bible. I know he's already done a review of it, but real excited about it. Now, I saw that Tim got the Genuine Leather Edition. I asked for the hardcover edition because I do, I get a lot of complaints now from people, every, not complaints, every now and then people are like, hey, you only do premium Bibles. No, I do some of the less expensive. So this is the cheapest version of this. It's the hardcover. I got it because a, I wanted to show you the cheapest edition, but also it looks really beautiful. Wow, it, it looks really beautiful online, but it's also looks really beautiful in person. Okay, take this, three, two, one. Really nice like blue paper, uh, a hardcover edition, like a slipcase on there, look at that. So it says, Church History Study Bible in gold here, it says, Voices from the Past, Wisdom from the Present. That's kind of the tagline for this project. This is very, very beautiful. So there you see it says, Church History, Study Bible, ESV, really, really clean. If I open this up, so on the outside, oh, that's nice. So this kind of mimics, that's cool. This kind of mimics what the, the leather edition, so it's got like this gold printed spine on there, but then otherwise it's just a brown kind of hardcover. I like having hardcover Bibles because you can sit them upright on a shelf. You don't have to lay them flat like those back there. So it's a little bit easier to, to keep up with them. This this looks and feels very nice, kind of a classic um, study Bible size. Now, this is not a classic study Bible. It's not going to have like your traditional study notes. It's instead going to have kind of commentary from uh, people through from throughout church history. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to dive into this a little bit, but kind of classic size, nice design. I'm just going to open this up and kind of get some first impressions. It tells us a little bit about the key features, which I'm going to go over here in just a second. A few blank pages up front, intro and then a really nice, beautiful design right there. Two columns up top, all the notes at the bottom. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do an overhead video. I'm gonna dive in and show you all of the specs. Look how flat that lays, isn't that great? I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna show you all of the different specs of this video, walk you through everything, give you kind of a full overview of this Bible. This looks really, really sharp. It makes a great first impression. And again, this is the least expensive version. They also have a true tone edition. So that's a synthetic leather. And then they have a genuine leather edition as well. So let's do that overhead and check out the Church History Study Bible. Okay, starting from the outside, really beautiful. You see it says Church History Study Bible, nice gold kind of foil on there. Voices from the past, wisdom for the present on the spine there, Church History Study Bible. Clean up. This is like a soft blue kind of, but it's got a paper, like a paper-ish feel to it on the inside, as I showed you before. This brown hardcover, really, really nice. It looks good. Nice kind of warm brown color. And then look at this. This is this is cool. It's kind of gold foil on the spine. That's the logo basically for the Church History Study Bible. Is that design right there? As far as size goes, this is six and an eighth inches wide, nine and an eighth inches tall, and it's like one and three quarters inches thick. So it's a big study Bible, kind of fits that same parameter. I guess the, the, the study Bible size, kind of the standard study Bible size, that's what this has in it. Again, it's got a, um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but there is a uh, true tone edition as well as a genuine leather edition. This is the hardcover edition. They're all going to be the same on the inside. Smythe's own binding, you got a few blank pages up here. There's that logo again. ESV Church History Study Bible on the presentation page. Title page, here's your copyright page if you want to freeze frame that and take a look at it. 2016 text, printed in China. Next to it is the contents page. So it goes Old Testament, New Testament. You got some creeds in there, ecumenical creeds of the church. Here's some articles and resources. We'll take a closer look at those um, later. You do have an author index, a concordance, things like that. This is an introduction to the ESV Church History Study Bible. 
written by the general editor, which is Stephen J. Nichols. The other main guys that worked on this were Gerald Bray and Keith Matheson. There's all of your contributors. Then you get the preface to the ESV, kind of the standard ESV preface. And then when we get to the Old Testament, you're going to see a quick historical book introduction, just a one-pager. You're going to have that for every book of the Bible, so you do get book introductions. And then we get into the text itself. So you see the kind of basic layout is two-column text of Scripture. This is a nine-point typeface. It's paragraph formatted. I believe that's lexicon. It's pretty par for the course for, for Crossway. You see those bold verse numbers. Beneath the text, you see the first thin line up here is going to be your textual footnotes. The second thin line is going to be your cross-references. So over here on this page, you see we got doubled up on the cross-references. So there's a few more there. So textual footnotes and cross-references. Then the thin line and then the footnotes. Now, this is not a standard study Bible. It's not um, historical, contextual, uh, literary footnotes kind of explaining the text. What this is, is it's got over 20,000 study notes all here on the bottom of the page, and they are thoughts from prominent figures throughout church history. So they're taking some of the greatest minds from church history, starting all the way back in like the second century CE, moving up into the 20th century, and what do they have to say about this text? So it's a, it's a different take on it. It's church History. It's kind of like the um, the church fathers that one of the CSB um, study Bibles did, but this kind of expands across the generations. So, for example, let's just start at Genesis 1-1. You see the first note here on Genesis 1-1 comes from John Calvin, his commentary on Genesis Volume 1. So it's going to tell you who wrote this thought, and it's going to tell you where it came from in their writing. Here you see one from Matthew Henry over here. So across the Bible, it's, it's literally got dozens and dozens, maybe over a hundred. I'll show you that index at the back of the Bible. Um, that's how it works. It's pretty clean, pretty straightforward. Again, it's a nine-point type. It looks really clean on the page. It doesn't look like it's a line-matched text, so there's a little bit of ghosting, but it's not, not distracting whatsoever. And the idea behind a Bible like this is as you're reading the text, you hop down here to the bottom and you see what someone from throughout church history had to say about this. So um, I would assume, you know, kind of crossway and, and the the theological standpoint from them, they're kind of more in that reformed tradition. So I would assume that a lot of it's going to lean that way, but I always find them to be very balanced in how they present things. So I see there's John Owen there, um, just a, a bunch of different people in here. I see Martin Luther's name here a bunch of times as I flip through this. So it looks really sharp. You'll get a few different things here, like here's the death of King David, so you get a little bit more um, like, like a baby article in there, like a call out for different things. But again, cross-references, textual footnotes, text up top and at the bottom. There's again a little one-pager on Nehemiah. Books of uh, or poetic sections of the text, verse by verse kind of poetic format. Looks really nice. When we get to the New Testament, Exact same thing, same vibe going through. Let's get to the end. So I, I just think that if, if you're thinking about getting one of these Bibles, the ability to study with this, to kind of engage with what people have been thinking about this text for centuries in the church, that's kind of the cool thing that this has to offer. So, And then all the ancillary extra features. Let's get to the back here. So Revelation 22 is going to come on page 1971. So yeah, it's a big, thick Bible. Then you get a little section in here called Ecumenical Creeds of the Church. Starts with the Apostles' Creed, and then it moves into the Nicene Creed and the Chalcedonian Definition. Articles and resources. There's a bunch of different articles back here. There's a, an index of them at the beginning, but historical history of biblical interpretation and exegesis. So how do we interpret the Bible? How do we explain what it means? What is the history of that? A history of Bible translation. You see, these are very short, simple to read kind of overviews. History of biblical preaching, the Middle Ages, the patristic era, the Bible and the Reformation. So you're getting a few of the different key um, timelines in church history, the critical age, creeds and confessions, that sort of thing. I like this a lot. There's a lot of, like, not too deep of a dive. It's not going to make you feel like you're going to seminary, but you're going to get the basics on some of this stuff, the devotional use of Scripture, the role of tradition in Protestantism and Roman Catholicism. That's great. Then you get a table of weights and measures. Oh, there's a reading plan in here. I like that. If you want to use this Bible to read through the Bible in a year or 
faster or slower, however you want to do it. You've got that in here. Now here's your author index. So this starts on page 2015 and it goes, let me see here, it goes to page 2029. So that's 15 pages of, of authors and there's got to be probably 20 or so on page. So yeah, so there's there's easily 250, 300 different people um, listed in here. Then you get a concordance, the ESV concordance at the back of the Bible, three column, kind of standard, and then you're going to get a set of Bible maps. Overall, really nice. It's unique. I think if you're interested in church history and what people have had to say across the centuries and kind of getting some of that insight, I think this is a really interesting Bible to add to your Bible library so you can kind of engage um, with the, the, the greatest minds throughout church history um, about what they had to think uh, about the text of the Bible, which is um, a really cool thing to be able to do uh, in today's day and age. So there you have it. That's the ESV Church History Study Bible from Crossway. I think this looks really great, and I'm excited to spend some time with it. Now, I'd love to know what you think about this, so leave me a comment and let me know. If you're convinced, if you're ready to purchase one of these, I will drop some links in the comments of this video. Not the comments, in the description of this video. Those links are affiliate links, so that helps me out a little bit. If you use those, I get just a little bit of a sliver from Amazon or ChristianBook.com, so if you use those links, that's really helpful to me. If you have any further questions about the ESV Church History Study Bible, leave those in the comments as well, and I will get back to you with a response. As always, come find me on Instagram and Facebook. I'll post some photos of this Bible on there. It's a very, very photogenic Bible, so definitely check me out on social media. And before you go, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is a really cool Bible. I've got a lot of other cool Bibles similar to this and totally different from this on my channel. So surf around my channel, find some other videos to check out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.